Hi and welcome to this video. I'm Lucas, Studio One Specialist, and today we will take a closer look at the stop function in Studio One. Now you may ask, what's so special about the stop function that there's a need for a video? Well, maybe you know all of this already, but I'm also going to show some hidden tricks that you might not know. So let's go ahead and find out. So the stop command is obviously one of the most basic functions in Studio One or pretty much any other DAW. We click play to listen to our song. You can also press enter to start playback or the space key to toggle between play and stop. And then when we like to stop, we click on the stop button or press the zero key on the numpad. Or in my case, I would just press stop on my fader pole. What actually happens when I click stop is that song playback is stopped, obviously, but when I click stop again, then my playback cursor jumps to the last start position, the point where I started playback. That's actually pretty cool because I can go back and listen to the same part of my song again. And then when I press stop twice, it jumps back to this position. Now when I click stop a third time, then the cursor will jump to zero, to the start of our song. So there are different transport functions that can be triggered with this button. And of course the keyboard shortcut does exactly the same. What if you accidentally click the button third times and now you are at the very start? Does that mean we have lost our last start position? No. As long as we don't start playback again, Studio One is still remembering this position. So if I set my cursor somewhere at the end and I press stop, it again jumps back to the last play start position. And only if I'm already at that position or on the left of it, then it will jump back to zero. Now when you're editing or arranging a certain part of your song, you probably want to listen to it, make some changes and listen to it again. For that, there's another option that is useful for this kind of editing or spotting scenarios and it's in the transport menu. Or we can just right click the stop button and that opens a little menu and here I can say return to start on stop. And now when I go ahead and place my cursor somewhere in the song, start playback, listen to our song and when I now stop playback, it automatically jumps back to the start position. And I can do this again and again, it's pretty quick and easy. And if you want to quickly turn this option on or off, you could also make a shortcut for this. Just go into the Studio One menu, then keyboard shortcuts, then I'll type start on stop. And as we see, there's already a shortcut for that, Alt plus numpad zero, so I can use that to turn it on or off. But what if you don't want to have this option turned on because you just want to manually jump to the start position when your song is playing but you don't want to press stop multiple times? Then you could just make a macro for that. Let's open the macro toolbar, make a new button, right click, then choose new macro and now let's enter stop and I'm gonna add this stop command twice because we actually want to trigger it two times. The first time to stop playback and the second time to jump to our start position. Now I'm gonna call it stop and go to start. So that's the name of our macro. And now I can start playback and then click the button to directly stop and go back to the point where we started. And now I could again assign this to a hotkey because that's much faster. And here's tip number two. Because some users complain that they often accidentally press the stop key more than once, although they just want to stop playback without jumping back to anywhere. Is that possible? Yes, it is. And again, the way is to make a macro. This time I won't create a new button. I just open the macro organizer and I'm gonna click new to open the macro editor. And again, I'll type in stop and just add it to the list. And now you can see that the stop command has an argument that is called strict. And this strict argument is exactly for that case when you just want to stop and nothing else. So double click this command 
and just enter one. So the one value actually tells the command that it should just stop playback but not jump to anywhere. I'll call this one stop strict. And now let's go into the keyboard shortcuts and type in strict to find it. And I'm going to assign the key in numpad zero. Yes, that's the one that was assigned to the plain stop command. And I'm gonna override it and assign it to our custom stop command. Or oh, it's actually a macro, but anyway. And now when we're done with that, I can start playback and then press the numpad zero key to stop playback. And no matter how often I press zero, the cursor will just stay where it is, which is great. And if I want to jump back, I can press this button. Or if I want to jump to zero, I can press the comma key and it will jump to the very start of our song. I hope this has been useful. If you want to see more Studio One content, please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.